Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today, after a very, very, very long period of time, I finally have the Biosgrad herself in my port. With the release of rank um, of the new rank season, I managed to scrape together the final 1900 still that I needed to get the Stalingrad. Now, I know I did put a poll up on YouTube, and most of you guys voted to have Bargani be the still ship that I went to. And I had every intention of getting Bargani, but after just clawing my way through rank battle, and looking at, you know, being able to purchase Stalingrad, or have to grind for even more more steel to get Bargani, I just didn't have it in me, and I went and settled for Stalingrad. Now... I did that for two reasons. One, like I said, just the grind for coal was just crazy. And, um, I mean, still, my, oh, my bad. The grind for steel was just so crazy. And two, because at the end of the day, the Stalingrad is a unique ship. It's not just, uh, Al, you know, because the, but the Bogoni, it, it's an Alsace with better stats. That's all it is. And as much as I do want the Bogoni, I, I myself want Stalingrad more. Now, for those of you that want to see Bergani, I will get it eventually. I'm going to keep playing ranked and clan battles and, and such, and probably when they have that steel cell at the around Christmas time, I'm going to do that too. So Bergani will be on the channel eventually, but I just Stalingrad, you know. <laughs> uh, the ship is has been a long goal of mine, even before the Bergani was a thing. I wanted to get Stalingrad, and now I finally have it. And I have played one game in it, because uh, after I got it, it was like really late in, um, in the evening yesterday. So I did play one game in it, and it's, yeah, it lives up to the memes. <laughs> uh, the first game I had in it, I did like 140,000 damage and sunk four ships. So today, I'm going to just give you a brief overview of the ship. And then we're going to go ahead and take her into battle. So her armor is... I'm going to start with that so I don't forget about it. <laughs> you got 25 millimeters of bow armor with a 50 millimeter uh, belt up here. 50 side armor. 180 millimeter belt down there. You got 25 millimeter on, on the torpedo bulges. 50 right here. 25 here. And then 25 deck armor and a 50 deck, uh, millimeter deck armor in the middle. Now, um, the build that I have gives her turrets... A um, 17 and a half second reload time and a 35 second uh, 180 time. Max dispersion of 204 meters. And her HE shells have a, was that, 33, 33% chance of starting a fire. Now, A, she has a rating of 79, which is actually quite good. I don't have anything put into AA at all. Now, maneuverability, her max speed is 36 knots and her rotor shift time is 12 and a half seconds. So I don't have a, a maneuver, maneuverability build on her. At least not yet. I'm still messing with the builds. Now she's her concealment range detecting her detection range by sea is 14.2 kilometers, and her max firing range is 20 kilometers. And her shells are pretty dang accurate, I must say, uh, especially for that one match that I played yesterday. And oh yeah, captain skills and the build. So I got for the maintenance, LG turrets, adrenaline rush, superintendent, and concealment. Now, I'm probably going to go into more of a, a survivability build, because people really like to shoot this ship. <laughs> like, a lot. Alright, so for the modules, I went with Main Armaments Mod 1, Damage Con 1, Aiming Systems Mod 1, Damage Con 2, Concealment, and Main Battery Mod 3. And that's what I'm rolling with now, um, and like I said, this probably will change. It's just what I'm using currently. Alright, let's go ahead and get in battle now. Oh, and for the module, um, for the symbols, you get, of course, Damage Con, um, defensive, defensive Fire, Radar, and a Heal. So she's pretty well kitted out, and she has that Soviet Radar, so it has a good range, but it doesn't last for too long. Oh, 
And with the speed flag on, she tops out at around, I think it's 36 or 37 knots. It's looking very nice. So it looks like this Agnevni turret and one or two cruisers, then I think this is Des Moines. Des Moines and Arun are coming over here to the A cap. Well, we got uh, the other half going over to the C cap. So that's encouraging to see a nice even split rather than one team just limbing, limbing to the uh, to one cap. <laughs> People in chat. Oh, that's great. It might actually be no. It shuts out on us, but. How dare you hurt Stalingrad, fellow Soviet ship? Uh, just couldn't get it out on him. Oh, shot on three planes somewhere. <laughs> so that Gnevni is out there spotting, so... I think it should be detected. Is it really just that Donskoy right there currently? Oh, he's behind that island. Hi, Donskoy. Oh, and Chung Mu too. You got that thing, Good Avenue? Once we convince this Don Score to go away, I probably will pop our radar to see what else, else is out here. It does look like it is just this Don Score and that DD. <coughs> so this thing's kind of like crunched at if the guns were accurate. Ooh, there we go. God. I want to shoot the Chung, but I also want to finish off this Dunskoy. I'm going to start trying to get my bow pointed toward that Chung because I don't want to get a whole broadside of torpedoes in my face. Yep. Oh, what was he aiming? Did he expect us just to charge forward? Alright, good that Des Moines is on him. We will give this Des Moines some support. Eat my shells, Don Scory. Please. <laughs> I think this might do him in. There we go. Alright, good. All right, let's get him to A. I'm sorry if I sound a bit snotty. I don't. I think I just. I don't know. I slept with my fan on last night and my air conditioner on, so. 
my nose is a bit upset with me right now. Come on, Stalingrad. Make this turn. You can do it. There you go. Good girl. Or man, you're named after Stalin, so. <laughs> well, you're named, you're named after a city that's named after Stalin. So there's that. Hi, Zal. What are you doing, buddy? Out of my way, Pagoda. There we go, there's a Citadel. Ooh, dang, Jean Bar. Wow. Kick that guy's teeth in. Oh! I've been spotted. Oh, yes, Baltimore. Hello. Why, why would you show me? Oh, because there's a battleship in front of him. So he has no choice. Man, these guns are so nice. But still, it's just like Overpin City. Ow. At least on the lighter armor cruisers, but... Uh, it is what it is. I mean, I wouldn't expect that on guns this small. Like, on the battleship guns, I can it's aggravating as crap, but I can kind of understand it. But on Stalingrad's guns, I would expect me to be able to just sit at all cruises that show me their broadside. I mean, which you can for most of them. Speaking of citadels. <laughs> the rate of fire does kind of make up for it. Oh, hello, Des Moines. Oh, that's a turpitz. off of that Soyuz. We turn around for that. Salem gets his guns going. The ship is on fire. Hmm. I have become quite popular. Let's pop my radar and see everyone. There we go. Ah, uh, I'm being the old just throw H yet until it dies treatment. <laughs> and that's why I went with the damage con mod, because that is definitely what happens. Okay, too much broadside. <gasps> okay, that's surprising. May have bitten off more than I can chew here. Log into the Hindenburg guns. Somebody sink the turf pits, please. Thank you, jeez.
Uh, Citadel for 6,000 damage. What a nice gift. Thank you, game. Okay, hopefully my hill gets reloaded in time by the time that Cocker comes around the corner. That was me slamming the U button. Hi, hi, Conqueror. Please don't do it. Please don't. Oh, okay. Oh, this is awkward. He's not shooting. I guess I convinced him. I should be a negotiator. I wonder if he's like he had AP loaded, now he's loading H or something. Or maybe he's just a bot. I don't know if he was shooting at me earlier just fine. Wow, dispersion, you're really letting me down now, aren't you? Oh, he popped his super heal. There he goes. Maybe he just really didn't know what ammo type he wanted to use. Oh, nice torpedo dodge. I ain't gonna lie about that. Yeah, it looks like he was just... I don't know, he's probably swapping back and forth between ammo type or something. Oh, this is this is magical what's happening right here. Oh, there's the implacable. Now let's play can I hit it? Well he's like barely freaking moving though. Guns. Thank you. Oh wow! I I I can hit it. <laughs> Guided by the hand of Stalin himself. Wow. Okay, that was quite the game. Uh, yeah. That 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 sums up Stalingrad in a game. <laughs> when you go up against people who don't really know what they're doing, you kind of just annihilate them. And do 215,000 damage in my second game in the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Number one of the team, three kills, ten planes shot down. What a game. And that's why I wanted this ship. The ship is insane. Even after they um, nerfed it a little bit. But, yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> um... So, yeah, guys, um, I'm going to just, you know, show you guys that one game. Because, um, you know, if you don't want to see Stalingrad, I mean, I do. I, don't know, I know some of you do. I know most of you probably will. If you want to see more Stalingrad, let me know in the comments down below. Um, so far, both of my games with it have been like that. Um, although, I know that's not saying a lot. That's only two games. Um, and that last team was kind of derpy. But, I mean, hey, that, that really shows what you can do with the Stalingrad when you're with an, when you get put up against an enemy team that kind of is subpar you can really just go at it and um i not like them <laughs> but yeah um i'm really enjoying the ship i hope you are enjoying seeing what the ship is like and i mean well the nice thing is this is one of the premiums that you can actually get it just takes an eternity to grind up the steel um the good thing about rank being out right now is that you can earn some even if you don't because most of my steel is from clan wars but i did manage to get the rest of it uh, from ranked yesterday, so that's how I was able to get the ship. So, anyway, guys, um, if you did enjoy, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We're on way to 3,000 subscribers, and as of today, we are at 2,660 something. <laughs> and again, we've had an amazing period of growth on this channel, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So, alright, guys, hope you're having a wonderful Monday, and I'll see you guys in the next one.